Sebastian loved his wife Emily with everything he had. They both thought they would grow old and die side by side. Sadly, after suffering from an illness, Emily passed away. Ever since then, Sebastian never stopped taking flowers to her grave. However, one day, something out of this world happened. Sebastian took flowers to Emily's grave, but some minutes later, he found the exact flowers on the kitchen cabinet. What could have happened? How could this be? Sebastian panicked. Was his wife's ghost out to deal with him? Sebastian was one lucky man. He had a pretty decent job, a beautiful daughter, Willow, and a wonderful wife, Emily, who would do anything to make him happy. You see, when the couple first met, Sebastian was quite busy, so he would rarely call and text. Because of his lackadaisical attitude, Emily's friends wasted no time telling her that it was a red flag. Trust me, some other girl is getting all that attention, and guess what? We can bet that she's not half as pretty as you, they would often tell her. Later on, Sebastian asked Emily to quit her job and move in with him, so they could get to know each other better. When Emily told her friends about it, they advised her against moving in with him. But regardless of anyone's opinion, Emily felt safe with Sebastian. Her instincts told her that he truly, really loved her. So she took the risk, quit the job, traveled down to his city, and began to live with him. And guess what? Ever since then, Emily's life changed for the better. Although Sebastian was often busy during the day, whenever he returned home at night, he would always make time for Emily. On weekends, they would also go on dates. Within three years, Sebastian gave Emily some of the things she had always hoped for. Her dream house, decorated with her favorite flowers, water lily, her dream car, and he also opened a spa business for her. Soon enough, the couple tied the knot and the following year they gave birth to their daughter Willow. For many years, the family lived in peace and harmony and everyone looked up to Emily and Sebastian. They wanted a love as peaceful and beautiful as theirs. Unfortunately, one day, tragedy struck. It was Emily's 43rd birthday and the family was having a little outdoor party beside their swimming pool. Just then, Emily got up to serve herself and she suddenly felt dizzy and held her head. My love, what's wrong? Are you alright? Sebastian asked his wife. Yes, she responded in a faint voice, but after taking just a few steps, she suddenly collapsed. Wasting no time, her family rushed her to the hospital and the tests carried out showed that she had stage 4 leukemia. A year after the diagnosis, the doctors told Sebastian that Emily was now at the end of life stage and there were no other treatments left to try. She's my life! I cannot live without Emily! Save her! Save her, doctor! Sebastian screamed that day as his grief poured out in a flood of uncontrollable tears. Left with no other option, Sebastian moved his wife into a hospice. By then, she had already lost so much weight and all her hair. Yet, Sebastian would walk into her room every morning, holding her favorite flowers in his hands. Then he would walk over to her, kiss her forehead and say, You're the most beautiful woman here on earth. I know, darling. You tell me all the time. Emily would respond with a weak smile on her face and hold her husband's hands. While in each other's arms, they would reminisce on the past with tear-filled eyes and trembling lips. Sadly, one morning, Emily, after fighting a good fight, finally passed away. Words would fail to describe how much agony Sebastian felt. In due time, the bereaved man threw a befitting burial for his beloved wife and beautified her grave with water lilies. Every weekend, he would visit his wife's grave just to spend some time with her and drop her favorite flowers on her grave. After Emily's demise, Sebastian did his best to care for Willow. And even though he couldn't take the place of her mother, he perfectly played the role of her father in her life. The two had lots of father-daughter bonding moments. They got so close that they never kept any secret away from each other. So when Willow finally graduated college, five years after her mother's death, she found it easy to confide in her father about a man Dennis, whom she was deeply in love with. Emily spoke so highly of the young man that Sebastian couldn't wait to meet him in person. I hope he's really a great man like you say. I would never give my daughter to a man who wouldn't protect and provide for her. 
Sebastian teased when Willow told him that Dennis and his mom were inviting them over to their house for dinner the next day. The following day, Sebastian went to his wife's grave to drop flowers for her as usual. As if his wife was sitting beside him, he spoke to her and told her that their beloved daughter was now in love. When Sebastian returned home, Willow was already dressed up. So he quickly showered and a few minutes later they were off to Dennis's house. When they got there, Dennis's mother, Scarlett, who was a widow, greeted them with a warm smile and showed them around the house. Finally, it was time to eat and they all whined and dined while chatting happily. After eating, Dennis turned on 1990s music and dared Sebastian and his mother to dance. And boy, they put on a show. Everyone was happy that they even planned to have lunch the next day, but this time, Willow and her father would be the host. Just like the dinner gathering, this one also went well and everyone was happy. Well, except for Sebastian and Scarlett. You see, the two felt an undeniable attraction towards each other right from the first day they met, but they were scared and worried out of their minds. Would their kids approve of a relationship between them? Before the lunch ended, Sebastian caught Scarlett staring at him a few times just like she had done at the dinner gathering. And each time their eyes met, Sebastian felt butterflies in his stomach and he blushed like a teenage boy in love. However, there was a catch. The way he felt about Scarlett pricked his conscience. He felt as if he had betrayed his wife. He felt bad that he was letting another woman into his heart. Was this even right? Sebastian tried to suppress his feelings for Scarlett, but nothing he did worked. Two weeks later, Sebastian and Willow decided to pay Dennis and his mother a visit. Before they left, Sebastian went to his wife's tombstone and dropped their favorite flowers on her grave. When the duo got to Scarlett's house, they joined them at the table for lunch. After eating, Sebastian decided to take a walk around the house. Before doing that, he went to the kitchen to get a glass of water. But when he entered the kitchen, he saw something on the kitchen cabinet that made him scream like crazy. His head pounded with tension and he immediately felt imprisoned by fear. Right there on the table were the exact flowers he had dropped on his wife's grave earlier that day. Sebastian continued staring at the flowers in numbed horror. And for some seconds, he believed that ghosts truly existed. He thought his wife's ghost had brought the flowers to the kitchen to taunt him because of the way he felt about Scarlet. With adrenaline rushing through his veins, he told his trembling legs to run. But just as he turned and took a few steps, he bumped into Scarlet, who had heard his scream and out of fear rushed down to the kitchen to check on him. As soon as they bumped against each other, they froze. They stared at each other for a few seconds and without thinking, they immediately went for a long and passionate hug. While still in each other's arms, Scarlet whispered, Why did you scream earlier? I thought you were hurt. I was so scared. I don't know how those flowers got to the table. Sebastian, still very much in fear, whispered back. Just then, Scarlet told him the flowers belonged to her and they were her favorite flowers. She also told him that her late husband often bought those flowers for her before he died in an accident. Sebastian couldn't believe his ears and it suddenly dawned on him that the universe had brought Scarlet into his life to fill the void his wife's absence created. He didn't think it was a mere coincidence that Scarlet loved the same flowers as his wife. He felt it was destiny. Water Lily was also my late wife's favorite flower. Sebastian whispered back and unconsciously caressed Scarlet's hair. The two said nothing afterward. They just held each other tighter. Some seconds later, the duo heard a laughter. Turning their heads, they saw Dennis and Willow. So you guys finally decided to open up to each other. We knew all along. It was glaring, Willow said excitedly. So does this mean we're having a double wedding? Dennis teased and everyone laughed. The young couple wanted their parents to also have a wedding on the same day as them, but Sebastian and Scarlett wanted to take things slow and get to know each other some more. We have all the time in the world, and you guys just need to trust us. Our love is here to stay. Sebastian and Scarlett told to their kids, I'm glad that this couple eventually found love after losing their partners. I wish them a beautiful life ahead. What do you think about this story? Share your thoughts in the comment section. See you next time.